How would you solve this monster of a problem? Here we have a very, very complex fraction. How can we simplify it? Well, let's break it down. Starting with the top, we have a total of eight threes that we're adding. So adding three eight times is basically multiplying three by eight. Multiplication is repeat addition. In the next level, we have seven threes that we're adding. So that's going to be three times seven. And then below that, we have six threes that we're adding. So it's going to be three times six. And then the pattern will continue. And then three times five, three times four, three times three, three times two, and three times one, which is three. So three times eight is 24. Three times seven is 21. Three times six is 18. And then you can see the pattern. It's just decreasing by three. So how can we simplify this complex fraction? So I'm just going to rewrite it here. We have 24 divided by 21 divided by 18 divided by 15, divided by 12, divided by 9, divided by 6, divided by 3. What would you do to simplify such a fraction? Feel free to pause the video and try this problem if you want to. In order to simplify this super complex fraction, we need to work our way from the bottom all the way to the top. So let's start with 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we can replace that with 2. 9 over 2, we can't really simplify that to a whole number. So we're going to move up to 12. What is 12 divided by 9 over 2? How would you simplify this complex fraction? There's many ways you can do it, but one method that I like to use is this one. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2 just to get rid of the fraction on the bottom. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so those 2's will cancel. And so we have 12 times 2, which is 24, divided by 9. Now, we can reduce this fraction. 24 is 8 times 3. 9 is 3 times 3. And so we could cancel a 3, and thus we're left with 8 over 3. So 12 divided by 9 over 2 is equivalent to 8 over 3. So let's replace 12 over 9 over 2 with what we have, 8 over 3. Now let's focus on the next part, that is 15 divided by 8 over 3. So we're going to repeat the process here. We're going to multiply the bottom and the top by 3. Whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you must also do to the top of the fraction so that the value of the entire fraction remains the same. So the 3 will be canceled, and on top we have 15 times 3, which is 45, divided by 8. Now we can't really reduce this fraction because we can only break 8 down into a 2 or a 4. And 45, you can't break that down into a 2 or 4, so this is as far as we could simplify it. So now we have 45 over 8 here. And then let's introduce the next number, 18. So let's simplify that complex fraction. So we have 18 divided by 45 over 8. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by 8. So we have 18 times 8 over 45. Now this we could simplify. 18 is 9 times 2. 45 is 9 times 5. So we could cancel a 9, and then we have 2 times 8, which is 16, over 5. So now we could replace this part with 16 over 5. Now let's introduce 21. So we have 21 over 16 over 5. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by 5. 
21 times 5 is 105. And we can't really simplify 105 over 16. So we're going to leave it that way for now. So now we're at our last fraction. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 16. And so we have 24 times 16 over 105. Now 105, we can write that as 21 times 5. 24, I'm going to break that down into 3 times 8. And 16 is 8 times 2. Now 21, we can write that as 3 times 7. And so we could cancel a 3. So we're left with 8 times 8, which is 64. 7 times 5 is 35. And 64 times 2 is 128. So this right here is the final answer. It's 128 over 35. And so that's how you could simplify a super complex fraction. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it to be educational. And thanks for watching.